Let's just apply this to another pattern. So let's take a six note pattern. So we have. So we got seven, nine, seven, nine, ten on the D string and seven, nine, ten on the G string. And this will be a six note pattern. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six variations in this case. So we'll start on, on the first first one. So start on the second one and I start on an upstroke. Next one on a downstroke. Next one on an upstroke. Next one on a downstroke. So um, this is basically the way I use looping and try it on, on something you, you have problems with and I, I can almost guarantee it that you, you'll find that one of these loop variations will be much harder than another one and then you know what, what you need to, to practice more to, to get, them up, get the other one up to speed. And this works on on everything, so you can do legato patterns, uh, sweeping, whatever. So it, it's uh, the only thing you have to keep in mind when you when you play something that, that's not as straightforward as alternate picking. Let's say you have a sweeping pattern here. You got an A triad. You see the same D shape here. And just the 12th fret to E, so we got E, C sharp, A, E. And the picking here, at least how I play it, is an upstroke, pull up, upstroke, and then a down, down, down where the sweep is. So it's six notes before it repeats. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So if you want to loop this, the first loop is no problem, but the second one will actually start on a pull up. And in this case, uh, I usually start on whatever pick stroke I find the most uh, logical. Because once I, I get back to this in the loop, like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one then the loop will start with a pull up and this is great because it's really easy to sort of uh, do the pull up too fast or too slow and 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 things like that so this technique really brings out any timing and synchronization problems you might have then you just go go through the phrase uh note by note like this and if you get confused or uh, on what pick stroke you should start with, or if it's a pull up or whatever, just play the phrase from the from the beginning and see. Okay, now we're on the third note, and let's see. So we got up, pull up, up. Okay, I want to start this on an up stroke. So up, down, 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 up, pull up, up. And keep going like that. So we got down. again and finally down again so that's really the only thing you have to keep in mind when doing this that when it involves pull-offs and stuff like that you have to make sure that you use the correct pick stroke uh, or technique because otherwise you're just practicing something else and it won't help you that much.